Good afternoon, Pokey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series M video, bringing you a Latios team. Now, Latios, with weakness policy, obviously, is hopefully going to be a nice, fast dragon. Obviously, we have to worry about the, the traditional Urshifus, have to worry about the Spectres, Dragon Poles, because Latios doesn't have a very good typing. By being dragon and psychic, you are weak to a lot of different types, but that does mean, hey, you stick a weakness policy on it, you hopefully prosper. So we have the Latios here with the Landorus and Choice Scarf. Landorus is acting here as just like a way to have pivot and a way to hit fast and hard and be a little bit uh, more reliable because, you know, weakness policy Latios isn't the most reliable Pokemon. So we kind of want very reliable Pokemon to help back it up. We have the type of Finny here just to help us again because it's reliable. Tornadus here with Brutal Swing. This is going to be the proc to our weakness policy, right? We go for the Brutal Swing, we proc the Weakness Policy. In fact, I think Tornadus is exactly one base speed faster than Latios. And so it's going to be the literal fastest thing that we can do. And then the next fastest Pokemon will go immediately after the Brutal Swing. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But we also have Tailwind just in case we're not fast enough on this Pokemon as well. We have the Heat right here with the Air Balloon so we don't get hit by our own Landorus's EQs. And so we can suck up some Fire type moves. And the Rillaboom is fake out with Assault Vest. So like I said, four reliable Pokemon plus a Latios and a Tornadus is what we're going for here today. Um, I do think that Latios is going to need a lot of help uh, simply because of how many weaknesses it has and how popular those weaknesses are in the metagame. So that's my thought process behind this. If you guys are excited, uh, excited to see Latios here on the channel, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you guys don't want to miss a single world code on the video, hit the subscribe button as well and get hyped. For balloon week starting tomorrow i'm so excited if you're watching this on wednesday i'm also going to be streaming tonight at 7 p.m eastern standard time i'm going to be using a very try hard team to see how high i can get on the actual ladder i'm going to be using like a moltres comfy team uh that i spent literal hours trying to perfect an ev spread and make sure that it's as perfect as i can make it to just climb for uh for tomorrow uh not for tomorrow for tonight to see how high I can get before the series does come to a close. So we're coming, we're coming close to the end of the month, especially you know, with Thanksgiving being tomorrow. So we we are gonna get uh, hopefully a lot of ladder spots. We'll see. Hopefully we don't fall in the other direction. But anyway, enough of that. Subscribe to the channel, hit notifications so you don't miss it, and I will see you guys in these battles. All right. Um, what do we even do here? I'm a little bit afraid of the Metagross just because this lead of the, the Tornadus and Alatios doesn't really have a way of dealing with the Metagross. But thankfully, there's no way to self-proc a weakness policy without doing, like, a stupid amount of damage to himself. So let's actually go uh, Latios and Tornadus this first turn. The fact that he doesn't have a way of procking a Metagross weakness policy means he probably is just make a weakness policy Moltres. Which is also bad. How do we even defeat that? I had to sneeze. Okay. Back to the game. I think we need the Heat Ran to deal with... To deal with all of them, to be honest. <laughs> Except for the Landorus, obviously. But the Landorus we can take care of with our Landorus or even just our Finny. But I do like the, th the thought of bringing Landorus because we have Rock Slide and we have EQ for his team. So let's do that. We just have to worry about... Uh, you know, Earthquake Air on Heat Ran, but that's what the Air Balloon is for. Hopefully the Heat Ran does get his Air Balloon popped. The one thing I like about Moretta's team is that what we're able to do is at least know that there's no fake out, right? I don't remember there being a fake out. Maybe I'm wrong now that, I think, now that I'm thinking about it. Landorus Cinderace. This is fine so far. This is very fine so far. Because like I said, no, no way of KOing me here, right? At least not my my tornadoes first turn. So this is just a is this just a Dynamax Hailstorm into Landorus? Do we take the chance to brutal swing or do we set the tailwind? I think we set the tailwind and we just hailstorm onto Landorus. Any safe swaps for him? Metagross. That's it. Metagross and Finny. Does he predict the ice beam? That's such a weird attack to go for, right? Let's just do it, right? Let's just go right off the bat. Go for the tailwind. I feel like the Tornadus. Ooh, that's amazing. Into Metagross. Maybe predicting my Brutal Swing. 
Trying to get his own weakness policy up. Good thing I didn't do it. Good thing we just committed to this lander is right from the start. Now, I'm definitely not going to Brutal Swing, just in case. This is a weakness policy, Metagross. That switch in makes no sense to me otherwise, unless it was predicting the, the Dragon move onto the Cinderace, which is also very possible. But nah, dude, gotta make it snow. It's Christmas time. Goodbye, Landorus. If you can stick Ice Beam on a Pokemon, just do it. Just do it. Beautiful. Okay, now we're in a pretty good spot. Just like a first turn KO on the Landorus is amazing. Because that, that just like removes Intimidate spams from me. I did remove my own Sash with the Hailstorm, but so be it, right? I think it was totally worth. Um, the sad thing is, we Dynamaxed, and they did not. So they're going to get their Dynamax one extra turn. Oh, that is so juicy, man. That is so juicy. Just go for this Max Wormwind. Or actually go for the Hailstorm. It would do more damage. What am I proc weakness policy? Oh, this is so juicy. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I just want to Brutal Swing. I predict the... Okay. Real talk. We predicted this at Team Preview. I predict the weakness policy to be on the Moltres. I'm playing to that win condition right here right now. So, what we're going to do... We're going to Brutal Swing ourselves. This will also hit the Metagross. So, if the weakness policy is on Metagross, we're in trouble. But they just Dynamaxed... The Moltres, it's on the Moltres. So now we're just going to get a free Max Wormwind off, which is our highest damage output on the Moltres at plus two. I expect to not KO it, but get it down to 50, right? Or maybe just above 50. That'd be even better. Let's see. Weakness policy on Metagross. Nope. Nice. Wait, lefties? Oh, he is weakness policy on Metagross. Oh, come on. That's so bad. So he's Life Orb on Moltres. Okay, no Berserk at least. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble now. Followed by Max Darkness. Bye-bye. Oh, that's the Tornadus. We live it. That's a big deal. That is a very big deal. Now, if he Ice Punches into my... Tornadus! My dude. Okay, he's going to keep uh, Latios on the field. I, I got Dynamax one more turn. That makes me happy. Um, since I know the weakness policy is not on the Moltres, I think my highest damage output becomes the uh, the Hailstorm. And actually, he doesn't get Berserk there, which is funny as well. Um, I can go for Lander CQ, but I think the Heat Ran is better off here with the Heat Wave onto the Metagross because Metagross is, you know, are physically defensive, but not specially defensive. Typically. So this just becomes a Hailstorm into Moltres. Followed by Heat Wave. This should actually result in a double KO. Theoretically. Assuming all of my accurate moves. Hit. I'm looking at you, Heat Wave. I'm looking at you. 5% chance to miss. Happens more often than it should. Here's a Hailstorm into the Moltres. Let's see how much damage it does. Straight Oko. My dude. My dude Latios doesn't even care. We're gonna get a single targeted heat wave on this uh on this on this uh Metagross. And it connects. That's what we like to see here, folks. Bye. Bye, Tam Tam. Ooh. We are cleaning up Jimmy's team. Taking some hail damage. Don't even matter. Also, if you guys didn't know that's how Berserk works, that's how Berserk works. It's like, if you... If the opponent doesn't flick the Berserk damage, you don't actually get the boost. And that's a Cinderace left. Uh, bad news. Bad news number one. Cinderace outspeeds Latios, I'm pretty sure. Uh, good news number one. I think we're still in Tailwind. <laughs> yeah, one more turn. I am feeling nice about that. He could go for the Sucker Punch and turn himself into a Dark Type and ruin my day. But instead, let's go for the Draco Meteor and let's go for the Heat Wave, because why not? We could have gone for Flash Cannon, but for now, he, has, he didn't switch his type. We outspeed. What's Latios' speed? Am I... 
Oh, we're in Tailwind. Duh. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Game was still ours. Game was still ours. Anyway, on to the next one. That was so much fun. Well, speaking of Moltres, okay, that's a Moltres Clefairy, not comfy. But a uh, very hard Trick Room team. No, I guess not very hard, it, it, but it's mostly Trick Room. His heavy hitters are Trick Room, so he's going to be wanting to set it up with the Cresselia for sure. Uh, might even be like a Cresselia first turn with the with the Clefairy. So I don't know if we actually do lead with the Latios, but we definitely do bring it in the game. Um, what is our best bet in preventing Trick Room from happening? Uh, we have to fake out in Taunt, right? Do we have Taunt and Tornadus? I hope we were, we had the foresight to put Taunt on Tornadus. Thank goodness. Okay. But it, it's just going to be Mental Herb anyway, right? Regardless, that's still our best bet. So let's go Rillaboom. Let's go Tornadus. Let's bring Latios in the back because it might still come in handy. Uh, let's not bring Landorus because we're going to get destroyed by Glacier. Let's bring the Heat Ran instead. We'll see how this goes. I'm still very terrified because... Setting up Trick Room is their win condition against my team. It's very obvious. And I'm sure they realize that. And they have such a strong way of setting it up. Here's the thing, though. If they have a Comfy... Uh, not Comfy. If they have a Clefairy and a Crest on the field, there is no damage output there. They went with Moltres Selecki. I didn't predict this. Wee woo, wee woo. I'm in danger. What do I do now? Surely sacking off the real boom isn't the only answer here, right? There has to be another way. Oh, my dude led with literally the two perfect Pokemon. Yeah, I think he the heat ran, the heat ran swap in is my only way. So I'm I, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna swap in heat ran. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. What do we do now? Tailwind, I guess. Like <laughs> we tailwind. Uh, we're about to eat up an electric move though, but I guess we have to tailwind. My other option there was to grassy glad the Alecky. Um, I can only pray that for some reason they decided that setting up the screens is more important than taking out my tail. Okay. This is fine. This is very fine. That is not. That, my friend, is very not fine. Um, what is my play here? I want to Dynamax and hit the Moltres, but at the same time, Moltres is going to hurt me. Moltres is going to cause me a lot of pain. I'm going to Taunt to prevent any Light Screen shenanigans, at least. Does he actually go for two Nasty Plots? Or is he just going for the Fiery, Fiery Wrath? If my dude's going for two Nasty Plots... Okay, he's, going for, he's just going for Fiery Wrath. That's I guess, makes a lot of sense. Doesn't KO, it hurts a lot though. I'm happy that we don't have to Dynamax at least. Uh, we're kind of in a spot where we don't have to Dynamax. He didn't set up light screen and both my special attackers are gonna really appreciate that. I'm gonna go for another Heat Wave. And I'm gonna go for the Air Slash onto Moltres. Uh, I don't expect to KO unless, I mean, I should KO unless the Moltres Dynamaxes, which I honestly thought it would have done by now, but it's very tempting to just go for another Fiery Wrath and KO me. Just get a double KO. Ooh, that is also another play. That is also another play. Just set up the friend guard. Very smart by my opponent. Because now we don't actually KO here and he gets the Berserk. I would need a crit here. Okay, that was Clefairy Void. That's fine. Yeah, not even close anymore. Oh, we get, oh, we get the flinch. We get the flinch, boys. That is so huge. Heat wave. Heat wave taunt. That is all we do this turn is heat wave taunt. He's going to get a helping hand boost off, which is sad. Um, but he can't prevent this taunt. Oh, follow me. Okay, we taunt. We've been going for heat waves this whole time. Why would you even bother following me? Let's taunt it. Well, hopefully, it doesn't have any attacking moves. We could just force it into struggle or force it onto the switch out. And then heat wave should be enough to KO Moltres there. Why didn't he Dynamax Moltres? I don't know. Um, we won on a flinch. We didn't win yet. We took out his plus two Moltres on a flinch. And now we have Tailwind to set up again. I mean, honestly, if anything's happening here, it's just 
tornadus being a tornadus, you know? Um, bad news is, my dude Glacier over here uh, deals with my whole team. <laughs> uh, thankfully, Clefairy can't go for helping hand or protect or anything like that. So, what I think we have to do is... What's my highest damage? I guess it's Steel Spike to set up my defenses. So let's do that. We're going to double into the Glacier here. That's super sketch. I'm also going to Air Slash Fairy just to get some damage on whatever swaps in. Um, nothing swapping in. What? I guess Fairy does have a attacking move? I guess so. See, my goal here is to accept the fact that my opponent is going to get weakness policy. No matter what they do. They're getting weakness policy up here, and I'm accepting that. Um, I still should do over half. And I only want to get them low enough to where a Rillaboom can clean up. Because I already denied them the uh, Trick Room, if that was their option. Well, actually, they had no Trick Room here. So I should just be fine. I don't even have to Tailwind this. I would only have to Tailwind if I... If I think the Aleki is going to come out here. This also raises my defense, which is, I guess, the best play there. I don't even break it down to half. That's a little sad. That's a little sad. Because if he goes for Max Quake, I still go down no matter what my defense is at. But Fairy flinches, so we, I guess... Oh, Knuckle. That don't KO. That do not KO. He gets the plus one, though. He's life orb. Okay. We're learning things. Everyone gets some HP, which is nice. There's enough to go around. Don't be shy. Um. Now what? We have to take out the fairy, don't we? So is the play max guarding? I think so. Max guarding the heat ran hard swapping. Into potentially Latios? No. I have three ice weaknesses all next to each other. <laughs> That's not good. Let's go real look. Because I have to find a way to take out the fairy. The fairy is the only thing stopping me from just... Okoing this glacier with steel spike because I said it was gonna do half and I was surprised when it didn't That's friend guard friend guard is doing friend guard things So if I remove friend guard from the equation, I should be fine. This is his last turn of Of whatever it's called My dude has draining kiss Good news is I think he was expecting that to KO the tornado, so that might mean he did just double into Yep, he did just go for another knuckle into He ran. Okay, he's he's playing into my hands right now. That's amazing. Uh Taunt is still around. Right? I think. Or this might be the last turn of it. I'm getting that uh taunt is over feeling. Oh, okay, taunt is still up. Amazing. Now we can surely go for steel spike. And Grassy Glide this Clefairy into Oblivion. Is that enough? Should we just double into Glacier? I don't know if Clefairy... I think Clefairy lives this. I think Clefairy lives this. So my thought process is KO the Clefairy, then KO the Glacier. But I might have to switch that around to double in this Glacier here. Yeah, I'm gonna switch that around. I think that's our that's our win con. So let's do that. I don't think a KO Glafair with just a grassy glide. I am max attack, but I don't have any like miracle seed or anything like that. So I have to go for this win con. We double in the glace uh, the glacier this turn. All on the last turn of taunt as well. Which is very useful. Rillaboom defense is useful as well. Not really. Nice, we take it out. Okay. Woo! Woo! Amazing. Latios hasn't done anything yet. I know. It'll do something before this battle ends. Maybe. 
<laughs> Finally, this is the Heat Ran Showcase. Fairy is gonna go for the kiss. Mwah. Into the Rillaboom. And then we just have the Aleki to worry about. But I don't know if I should be so worried. Because Aleki was just setting up screens and stuff. But hey. This could still be a thing. But Fairy finally shakes off its taunt. I love how Clefairy just gains so much health back through just draining kiss and grassy terrain alone. Lucky coming in hot. Half HP. Honestly, he might just forfeit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hard swap. I gotta I gotta let Latios in here. Latios gotta get a little piece of the action, boys. And I'm gonna glide the Clefairy. Battle skills. No! Next battle. I promise. <laughs> Hey, this guy's name is Kevin. My name is Kevin. Wow. Anyway, that's a M Articuno. That's also just in Cinderella I've never seen that combination before. And a Metagross with the sand thing going on. That's disgusting. What do we do against it? Let's go for the Latios and the Torn. Bring in the Landers because his whole team is physical. And we, we don't want to leave with it because he has a competitive boy on his team as well. And I think we top it off with a little bit of a heat ran here, right? Heat ran kind of falls. Actually, no, then we get hard swept by by the Dracovish. Maybe we do Finny instead. Let's do Finny instead. We'll go with that. Finny should be able to 1v1 to Dracovish quite simply. Also, does just stare into the face of a Tyranitar and doesn't care too much. All right, Kevin. Nice Mohawk, dude. Kevin is huge. Look how big he is compared to the stadium. Dynamax Kevin. Metagross in Sin. This doesn't bother me too much. Like, yeah, it threatens the Torn, right? Torn just kind of becomes a simple... Not a simple. It just kind of becomes a target, right? To, to fake out shenanigans. But this gives us finally an opportunity to max worm win something with a uh, Latios. So I think that's kind of cool. And we should probably hard swap this. I'd say. He's going to go for a nice move. Well, let's hard swap into Finny to take it. This is going to be a Dynamax Metagross going for the Max Hailstorm and then the Fake Out into my Tornadoes to KO my Tornadoes. So let's, uh, let's try to read that. And we'll see where it goes from here. While also getting the negative one Potentially even the KO on the Incin. Which is not too shabby. There's not much my Latios can do to his Metagross, but I can keep hitting its friends. Sadly, the Metagross can't hit me with a Hailstorm. Which would proc weakness policy at the very least, right? For next turn. Common question of the day. Latios or Latias? Design. Competitive. What do you prefer? Which would you rather have on your team? Which would you rather have in your party? Let me know. Uh, I gotta say, I thought, as a kid, I guess my brain wasn't fully developed, who would've guessed? Um, I always thought Latios and Latias looked identical, and then as I got older, I'm like, these are two completely different Pokemon, they look nothing alike. <laughs> I used to be like, it's just a color change. It's not. You could totally tell them apart. He fakes out the Latios. My dude was gonna let me brutal swing the whole time. That does no damage. Hello, Assault Vest. The biggest Assault Vest I've ever seen, my dude. How about Hailstorm? Into my Latios. Well, we got our weakness policy activated. Uh, we don't appreciate that hit at all. Um. Latios, you're in danger. I don't know if you know this Latios, but you're in danger. At the very least, this is kind of a free turn to set up a Calm Mind. Which is pretty good. Um, I gotta see what he has in the back. Fairy types? Okay, no fairies. Actually, no dragon resists at all. Except His dragon resist is on the field right now. So we can just go for a max Wormwind here at plus two to knock out the instant, hopefully. Yeah, it should. It doesn't knock out. Wow, I, I think I have to Muddy Water here. I can't believe I have to Muddy Water here. But yeah, I don't think it knocks out because that's not a third. That's not a third HP. 
plus two will only bring me up to times two. So that doubled, yeah. It wouldn't be enough. Rest in peace. Unless my math is wrong. Nope, it's not wrong. There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good thing I'm muddy watered here. Um, will it even be enough to KO after this? Oh wait, he's Pinchberry. He's not even a soul vested. Instant avoids. Why? Ah, oh, this is bad. He's qu He forgot about levitate. I, I hope I don't lose to this. Parting shots gonna bring bring him down to negative one. What is happening right now, Kevin? What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, well, we're kind of a good spot. It's a little sad that the instant was able to get a parting shot off. I would have been at plus two, but I'm not. Um, yeah, what can you do, right? If he has T-Tar, we might be in trouble. If he has Dragovish, we're in a really good spot. Yeah, he does have T-Tar. We'll just keep getting negative one attack, boot, attack drops on the T-Tar, because why not? Actually, I could change the weather and then go for muddy water. Which is an option. I don't know if it's what I it's what I play to. I think the, the worm wind is still my best play. Just get as much damage off as I can against this uh Tyranitar. Do I do this? Or do I try to Calm Mind first? I'm going to try to Calm Mind first. Because I'm going to lower its attack. I can always hit him next turn, right? So let's go for the Wormwind. I'm surprised we got three turns of Wormwinds off, to be honest. It does no damage because of the uh, because of the sand. I should have changed the weather. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, well, it's fine. We still have my Rollaboom in the back. He goes for the last shot. He is going to be able to kill my Latios. And now I'm sure that the Metagross is just going to go for the Steel Spike. Thankfully, we didn't proc the Metagross weakness policy this whole time either. And his Dynamax is over this turn. I should be able to take uh, take one Steel Spike, too. So hopefully this Combine isn't too greedy. I'm hoping it brings me down to my Barry. Yep, there's a Steel Spike. All right, perfect. Brings us down to our Barry. We now have a strong Muddy Water. We have a strong Finny. Finny outspeeds everything here on the field. So we're in a pretty good spot. And I think his last uh, is instant. Not his last. Well, his, his one other Pokemon is instant. So I don't think we KO'd anything yet. Now we have two options. Oh, I don't have Rillaboom in the back. That's right. I have a Landorus. Um, ooh, what is my play here? I guess Landorus for Intim Intimidate. But now I have to make a decision. I think my first decision is going to be Protect and EQ, though. I think the Protect EQ is the play. And they'll probably Ice Punch my, my Landorus. But Landorus would have done its job at that point. The thing is, who does he have the Weakness Policy on? Is it the Metagross or the Titar? I guess, like, the world may never know, right? Let's Protect here. Because we'll be able to go for the Muddy Water next turn when both these Pokemon are very low HP. Hopefully not miss this time. <laughs> Wait, hey, misses are part of the game, guys, right? It's what keeps the game spicy. Sometimes too spicy. Um, a switch in for him could be the Articuno here on one of his two Pokemon. But he doesn't have double flying types, so. One of these things is going to take an EQ. The question is, which one? Biggest issue also is that they, they both do have a plus one in special in, uh, in defense. Okay, they go for the protect with T-Tar. All right. There's the Finny protect. Is this going to be the Metagross protect or is this the triple protect and no one gets hit by EQ? Okay, no. Metagross is going to hit, get hit by the EQ. It makes me feel like Metagross could be assault vested, right? Maybe it doesn't even have weakness policy. Nope, he definitely has weakness balls there. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Iron Head into Finny. Okay, nothing happens this turn again. I think now I hard swap out of my Landorus. 
Going into my Tornadus. And now this is a good place to uh, Muddy Water. It's possible Muddy Water. We know he's not weakness policy. We should be able to KO the Metagross here. I don't... I'm not I'm not sure about Tyranitar because Tyranitar does get the uh, special defense boost with the Sand. Hmm. Tiffy. We know he's not a Salt Vest at least. Could also be like a Focus Sash, a Lumberry. Could be a, he does have a lot of options as a physical attacker there. Now, please don't go for Rock Slide. Scarf Titar? He's not speeding Finny. Thankfully, the attack drops are hurt. Dude! <sighs> Oh, you hate to see it, folks. Well, I hate to see it. I don't know if you hate to see it. I hate to see it. My thought process here is that I've intimidated them twice. I've gone for EQ twice. If they had a flying type in the back, they would have brought it by now. Right? They, they surely would have brought it by now. But he's not Scarf. He went for Protect. How is he faster than... Is he just max speed? He has to be just max speed T-Tar. Which makes me even more mad. I'm sad now. I'm going to Brutal Swing. Is that smart? Is that doing a lot of damage to Landers? Should I just Air Slash the T-Tar? That's going to do no damage to Metagross. I guess I might as well Air Slash Metagross, right? Because I don't think an EQ knocks it out at that health with the plus one defense. I guess we'll find out now. It draws T-Tar. There's no way. You have Articuno. No, he has Insane. Okay, that's fine. He's going to get the Intimidate drop, but we're, we are going to be able, able to Oko the Insane. At the very least, everything he has on his team is weak to ground so far. <laughs> and then Metagross protects. So we get the free KO on the Insane. Oh, don't tell me Sand runs out this turn, so he's going to be able to get Sand up again. Not that it makes a difference for my, my Landorus, but still, it's annoying. Alright, bye, Ensign. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still worried. We might have to Brutal Swing. Yep, he gets rid of the sand just to get it right back up. That's so convenient, dude. For him, that is. It's so convenient for him. All right, back into T-Tar. What is our play now? It's to keep EQing, obviously. I don't think we have the Tailwind yet. We probably should Air Slash the T-Tar just for potential flinches. We're playing to flinches, but we have to, right? We have no other choice. We have to try to cater the, the RNG in our favor and play to, uh, play to flinches. And just hope that the Metagross goes down, honestly. Like, at this point, like... <gasps> uh, we have to hope for a crit. Aw, oh, maybe I should have doubled in Metagross. Because I really don't think I'm going to be able to KO with this, with this uh, Earthquake. So close. I literally could have chosen my KO target there. I should have attacked Metagross. Yep, Ice Punch is going to KO. Ice Punch the Torn? What? Don't have Articuno. Whatever you do, do not have Articuno. Something. Anything with its feet on the floor. Dracovish? GG. I don't beat Dracovish. <laughs> I don't beat Dracovish. Oh, that was close, though. That was close, battle. That's GG. <laughs> It wasn't Latios is showing. But hey. Maybe next time. <laughs> Goodbye, Landorus. A warrior's death. Almost. Almost. I mean, I got what I asked for. Dragovich is touching the floor. Oh, if that Tyranitar didn't switch when it did to get the sand back up, it would have been a different game. But hey, that was a good game. Now, that is what I'm talking about. Latios having a little bit of a showing. I mean, it didn't come to every battle. I mean, it came to every battle. It wasn't used in every battle. But in the battles that it was in, it's made an impact that led us towards victory. 
So I'm gonna say that's a win. Anyway, if you guys want this Latios tea, make sure to grab the rental code right here on your screen. Remember, it is up for a limited time only, so grab it while it is hot. If you guys have a, a common trend of missing rental codes while they're out, because I know a couple of you, a couple of you out there do, um, you, you do come too late to the video and then the rental code's gone. Turn those notifications on. Make sure you don't miss a rental code so you don't miss one of your favorite Pokemon like Latios having a team that you can run on the ladder ready to go with any rental code that you want. Anyway, I'm Kevin this is Pokey Sports. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the... Anyway, I'm Kevin this is Pokey Sports. You guys know what to do. If you haven't already liked the video, go ahead and do so. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, help us out. Hit, hit the subscribe button. If you made it this far in the video, you probably like us anyway. You probably will be here tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm Kevin Spokes with a great night. Peace out.